Hi, my name is Mylon Lefevre, and music is in my blood. I got my first big break when Elvis Presley recorded a song I'd written at 17 years old. That moment changed my life forever. I went from having nothing to having my dreams come true. I toured the world and played with some of the biggest names in music and had more money than I knew what to do with. I finally hit rock bottom when I almost died from a drug overdose, and it became painfully obvious something had to change. Everything did change when I gave my life to Jesus at a second chapter of Acts concert in 1980. God instantly delivered me from drugs and totally turned my life around. I began to use my gift of music for the Lord and started a Christian band, Mylon and Broken Heart. It eventually grew to be one of the biggest Christian rock bands in the world at the time. We won several Grammys and Dove Awards, but most importantly, we led over 200,000 kids to Christ. Now, years later, I'm still living for Jesus and my wife, Christy, and I travel the globe proclaiming God's goodness. I've been from rock bottom to the mountaintop and I'm going all the way to heaven. So come on and join me on the road to freedom. Freedom, thank you for joining us today. Man, we've been praying for you. It has been, what? It's been almost six months since we filmed any yes. shows. Mm-hmm. We were in California in March, and this is almost August, and we're in Texas, and it's 100 degrees. If you see us sweating, uh, it's we have not been baptized yet. Mm-hmm. We're just sweating a lot. But it's, it's a good day in Texas. It's a good day to come to you with some encouragement. We're thankful to join with you in seeking the Lord today. I am a student of God's Word. That's what the Lord told me. And, you yes. know, the Word says, yeah. Jesus said, if you seek me, I'll make sure you find me. So I'm a seeker. I'm a student. Yeah. And I'm a doer of the Word. And I'm encouraging all my friends to say that with me. In fact, I'd like for you to, would you say that with me, baby? Yes. I'm a I'm student. A student. I'm a seeker and I'm I'm a doer doer of the the word. word. The more that we focus on that, (laughs) we're not here just to have a nice little do something religious Bible study. We're here to find out the truth because Jesus said, in fact, this is why we call the show On the Road to Freedom. Jesus said, if you continue in my word, we keep reading it, studying it, you will be my disciples. A disciple is a follower Mm -hmm. of Christ. You will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Yes. And that's why we're on the road to freedom. And I'm just glad that you joined us today. We're going to have a good time. Christy and I are having the best time of our lives. Yes, It's we... been a stressful time. The COVID-19 thing that's kept us from all of the churches that we were supposed to minister in, mm-hmm. except our own church, got moved out into the future. The rules kept changing, and so we're just having to wait on the Lord. But while we're doing that, we're renewing our strength, yeah, aren't we, baby? That's right, Amy. We're pressing in. We're focusing on what God's doing and saying. And we are just honored that you would allow us to submit those thoughts and that Word of God with you because it is a blessing to those that find it and choose it. Amen. And, you know, the reason why it was important for us today to go ahead and film in our backyard in a hundred degree Texas summer heat oh, yeah. <laughs> is because we believe we have a word from God for you. Yeah. And we are serious about that. That's serious business. We will answer to the Lord for yes. that. And so we don't take these shows lightly. What we're delivering to you today in the backyard, we believe that God instructed us to encourage you with these words. Amen. I'm so serious about it. I let my wife buy me a blue shirt. <laughs> Think about it, people. I've been wearing black for Instead 75 black, years. <laughs> That's right. And my wife got me some shirts that match whatever she's wearing. That's I don't right. even know what I'm wearing next, but I'm wearing blue on this one, baby. <laughs> That's All right. right. This is today's show is about the good fight. That's right. And that's the fight you win. A good fight is the one you win, right? I mean, according to the Word of God, we're to fight the fight of Of faith. faith. And that's the only fight we're in. 
We do not do battle with flesh and blood. Yeah, I mean. People are not my problem. The devil is my problem. Right. And I'm fighting the enemy. The Bible says we're fighting against great powers and principalities in the unseen world, rulers of darkness. Mm -hmm. That's who we're fighting against. But if we stay in faith, we win all the time, every time. For this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith in God and in his word. Amen. We both came from families that were fighters, military men. We were taught when I was a kid, my dad came back from the Second World War. I was two years old by the time he got back from the war. Yeah. He got drafted, he was on a, a battleship in the middle of the Indian Ocean uh, most of that time. Yeah. And when dad came home, he was determined that nobody was gonna bully his kids, yeah. especially his sons. And he set me and my two brothers down and told us, if somebody tries to push you around at school, don't let them get away with it. Make them pay a price and they'll quit pushing you around. And I was a little guy and it was not easy for me to make the big bully pay a price. Mm -hmm. And I had to find out how to do that. My dad never stopped putting pressure on me to fight back. But I found a better way that dad didn't know about. That's good. There is a place in God where God yeah. does, fights the battles for you. Yeah. And when we do things his yeah, way, that's it, honey. we cast our care on him. Yes. He takes care of us. Glory yes, to God. that's Talk excellent. To me, baby. Excellent. You know, today, again, we're encouraging you to fight the good fight. Yeah. And, you know, I know in mainstream media and popular music, I know you know these songs. We're always encouraged to be fighters. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Oh. Thanks for making me a fighter. <laughs> this is my fight song, right? These are all popular sayings today and we're encouraged to fight. Yeah. But what I want to clarify here is their fight, this fight that you hear about in the songs is all about willpower. It's all about determination. It's all about in the natural, a diligence, a perseverance in the natural. But we need to learn how to fight God's way. And there yeah. is a good fight. It's called the fight of faith. Amen, and when baby. we do things God's way and fight, his way, we always win. That's right. So some, let me clarify this, some assume once they get born again, there won't be any more fights, right? There won't oh be boy. any more challenges. There won't be anything else to overcome once they're on their way to heaven. But, but Jesus said- But that only said, happens once you get there. Once you're right, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. But Jesus said, so don't let these things surprise you, what you're seeing going on that's with the right. coronavirus, with the economy, all of these things we're seeing. Jesus said, I've told you these things that in me you may have perfect peace and confidence in mm. John 16, 33. He said, in the world though, you will have tribulation. You will have trials and distress and frustration. Mm. So these things should not surprise us. Right. But be of good cheer, Jesus said. He said, take courage, be confident, be certain, be undaunted, for I have overcome the world. Jesus said, I have deprived it of the power to harm you, and he has mm. conquered it for us. Yes, so Lord. by our faith in him, we always win. Praise God. So we always look into the Word of God for our life instructions. It's our success manual. So what does God say about how we fight back? In Ephesians 6, 11 and 12, it says to put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And there are wiles of the devil going on oh, right buddy. now. On <laughs> That's now. right. So our solution is we put on the whole armor of God for Again, the Lord clarifies here, we do not wrestle. You heard Mylon quote a lot of these scriptures we're about to go into in detail. You heard him quote at the beginning, but here it is in Ephesians 6, 11 and 12. We do not ever wrestle against flesh and blood. No. Your fight is never against your loved one, your mate, your family member, your friend. That is not where your fight is, but it's against principality against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age. Yeah. It's against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. In the NLT, it says we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies. Our fight is never in the natural. That's right. That is why we can't fight in the natural and win. Amen. So we need to know how, again, how to fight like a Christian. 
Now, I quoted this earlier, but yeah. I like to tell you where it is so you know we're not giving you our opinions. Right. We don't ever give you our opinions. That wouldn't help you any. We're telling you what the Word of God says. Yeah, amen. First John 5 and verse 4 in the New King James Version says, For whatever is born of God, that means born again, mm -hmm. accepting that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world. Even. Our faith yeah. in God. Our Amen. faith. Amen. Our faith in God and His Word overcomes every challenge we'll ever face in this world if you keep believing. People say to me, well, what happened when you when you tried to believe for that and it didn't happen? I kept believing. Yeah. Amen. How do you yeah. pass the test? You don't ever stop believing. What That's if it ain't right. working? What That's if it right. doesn't look like it's happening? Yeah. Do you stop and say, well, I guess God's not honest? No. God is honest. God is honest. And the truth will change the facts yes. if God can find somebody radical enough to believe that he's honest, even when it looks impossible and it looks like it ain't working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's when you're tested. You don't pass the test until you're tested, until it looks impossible, mm -hmm. until COVID-19 knocks your income away from you. All of a sudden, all the churches that would have given us offerings to help pay for the TV show, all canceled since February. This is almost August. What, how, what do we do? We live by faith. We Nothing's live by changed. faith. Amen. Jesus is That's still good. Lord. Mm -hmm. God is still on the throne. The Word of God is still true. What if the weather changes? Jesus doesn't. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. God is just looking for somebody who believes and will not stop believing. Yes. That's faith. That's faith. Please stop and think about what you're facing right now at this moment. Jesus said, faith is now. Faith, faith is, is how, how you win. Yes, whatever you're facing. That's right. In your health, in your finances, in That's relationships, right. it doesn't matter what you're facing today. Faith in God and in His Word is how you win. Amen. First Timothy 6, man, I'm sweating out here, dude. It's, <laughs> it's hot out here, people. It is. First Timothy 6 uh, and verse 12 says, fight the, the good, good fight, fight of faith. Yeah. There is a fight. Yeah, amen. But it's hard to keep believing when you look like you get knocked down. I have people every day on, on social media telling me how hard it is and how bad it's been lately and how frustrated they are and some of them are angry and some of them are hurt and man they're fighting sickness and they're losing and people have died that they love i mean all kind of problems going on yeah what can you do the only one thing you can do that'll work for sure and that's keep believing, keep believing. people the government can't fix covid19 if they could they already would they already have. would have that's right the, the scientists can't fix it if a scientist could he'd be a billionaire in no time wall street can't fix this they've thrown trillions of dollars at it but god is god and he he's the one that can fix this and he will all things work together for the good of those that love the lord get in that category get in i expect i don't know how this could possibly turn out good someday we'll look back and see what god was doing and how wonderful it was yes there amen. is a fight of faith but you can't be a wimp and win no, that's the bottom that's line. Right. You can't be fight. just griping and fussing. Yeah. That ain't living by faith. That's good. Talking about how hard it is is not living by faith. Talking about what God said he would do and what you're expecting him to do, that's living by faith. Mm -hmm. And you are talking about something. You're either talking faith or fear. But yeah. We're always talking. Amen. That's good. The yeah. good fight, Amen. it's a good fight because you know if what? we don't quit or give up, we, we win. win. Go ahead, baby. But let me say on that note, you need to help each other with this. Oh, yeah. If you hear your mate or you hear your friend or your family member Come and on. they're talking discouragement or defeat or oh. disappointed or depression, just encourage them in the Lord. Remind Bring them that, baby. that by our faith in God, we always overcome. Yes. That in Christ Jesus, we overwhelmingly conquer in Him. Just encourage one another in the faith. We need to help each other. In Matthew 28 and verse 18, Jesus spoke to them saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. That's what we're here for. That's right. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is the great commission given to us by our Lord and Master. 
and it's given to all of us who call ourselves disciples or followers of Jesus Christ. The truth is everyone's called. We're called to do different parts of building the kingdom, but yes. we're all called. In the book of Isaiah, God said, whom shall I send and who will go for me? Mm. And you know, Mylon and I, we made this statement years ago. We said, here am I, yeah. send me. But you can say that too. You can yeah. make that commitment to here am I, send me. So will you answer the call and give your life in service to Him and to His people through joining Team Mylon? You just go to mylon.org and click on Team Mylon. You can also be a social media evangelist by liking and sharing our post. That helps us get the word out to more Amen. people. And we also send a monthly letter to you, a free teaching of what God has spoken in our heart for you when you join Team Milan. And we also make a commitment to you to pray for you daily, to speak faith-filled prayers of agreement with you for you to walk in the fullness of your call. Amen. So we love you. Be blessed today. is always in your mind. If it's you're going to win this yeah. thing, you got to believe. When Jesus said it's with the heart the man believes, but if you believe in your heart, it will change your mind. The Word of God will change your mind. You will learn to think like God. If you study His Word and you confess it and you meditate on it day and night, you will learn to think like Him and that'll help change your life. Second Corinthians 10 and verse three through five in the New King James says, uh, he's talking about the weapons of our warfare, how we fight. The how fight we fight. fight, that's right. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. That's right. For the weapons there of our warfare again. are not carnal, but mighty in God for the pulling down of strongholds, casting down arguments, and yeah. every high thing that exalts itself against the, the knowledge, knowledge of God, God or the truth, in other words. Bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience, obedience of, of Christ or of the Word of God. The battle again is in your mind. Every thought you must cast down that does not agree with the Word of God. Now that's the hard part, is to constantly look at life from God's point of view. That's what happens when you get transformed by the renewing of your mind. And then when the situation says it's not working or somebody on CNN or someplace says it's not working, you cast that imagination down because that's not the truth. Right. The truth is the Bible. Mm -hmm. Whatever God says, that's the truth. That's the truth. And if we stick to the truth, we have to cast down any idea, concept, image, imagination that disagrees with the truth. Or according to God, we just read it, it will exalt itself above. It will get bigger in your life. The yeah. fear, yeah. the problem, the finances, the situation. They're getting laid off at the plant. Oh my God, what are we going to do? That will get bigger in your life than the Word of God. Unless you cast it down, it will exalt itself. So the battle is in the mind, but you can do it when you have the mind of Christ. Talk to us, That's baby. That's right. Well, we're going to go over a bunch of scripture real quick here at the end. And it's in Ephesians 6, 13 through 18. And again, we're talking about how do we fight God's way. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God. When you're in a battle, you need to put on the whole armor Amen. of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand, therefore. Don't ever draw back. Having done all to stand, stand, therefore. And above all, Take the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. So we need to always hold up our shield of faith. That's why we were talking to you about making sure the words that you're speaking are full of faith and full of life. Um, hold it up. Don't let your head hang low. I love that. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Now that is your only offensive weapon. And it is the Word of God, and it comes out of your mouth. 
Revelations 1.16 says that Jesus has in his right hand seven stars and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. And that mm. represents the word of God. Yeah. So how King Jesus fought, he is our example. Matthew 4, 3 through 4. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, if you are the son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, it is written. Man shall not Come live on, by bread the... alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So in verse 7 and also verse 10, the tempter, the enemy, came to Jesus three times. And each time the way that Jesus defeated the devil is he said, he didn't just think it, he said, it is written. Good job. And man. when he quoted the word of God, that was his sword That's that defeated the evil one. That's Amen. That's how you do it. Amen. Amen. That's how you do it. Now, Psalm 91 is where we hide when the, when the battle's raging. Mm -hmm. Let me read you some of Psalm 91, verse one through four. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. This is the NLT version. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him. Mm -hmm. If you want his protection, you must declare him as, as your you, Lord and yeah. not be ashamed of the gospel. Right. For it is the power of it's God. The power of God. That's under good. salvation. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, you can't fight the devil without the power of God. You cannot be ashamed of the gospel. If you want to talk about the man upstairs or the big guy and all that, oh, that's if you're good. ashamed of yeah, the name yeah, of Jesus, yeah. uh -huh. you're fighting the devil by yourself and you will lose. So we have to be not ashamed but of the gospel. Let me say Go this. Ahead, so how Lord. does this apply practically? When you and your friends are you're out in public and you encounter someone and they bring out, boy, it's bad, boy, this is a hard time. How are you handling it? Or they're saying, how are you doing today? Then the, a response that we can have to all of those questions is, the Lord is my refuge. That's right. right? We ain't worried We're about not it. ashamed. God's We're not, that's man. right. We're Amen. declaring the Lord is my refuge. He's my fortress. In God do I Thank trust. You, I'm Jesus. trusting God right now. That's a real simple, practical way to make your declaration that you are hidden in the secret place. Amen. And it goes on to say, if you do that, he will rescue you from every trap and yeah, protect you from the deadly good. disease. Uh -huh. He will cover you with his feathers and he'll shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are, are your, your armor, armor and, and protection. protection. Yes. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, shelter no evil no. will conquer you. No <laughs> plague. Good. Check it out, COVID-19. Uh -huh. no, no plague, plague. I mean. will come near your home. Yeah. For he, God... Yes. will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so that you won't hurt your foot on a stone. Woo, that covers Hallelujah. everything. Boy, that's good. So it's time for us to resist the devil. That's know who right. we are in Christ. Resist the devil and Come he on. will flee. Now in James 4, 7, that scripture though, that promise about the devil fleeing begins with, therefore submit to God. So your submission to God is key. This is simply obedience Good, to God's word. And when you are endeavoring to be, that's why we talk to you about being a doer of the word. That's being submitted to God. Yes. Now, when you resist the devil, he will flee from you. Amen. And in Matthew 16, 19, in the last segment of this fighting the fight of faith, Jesus says, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind mm. on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. So we have authority to bind every plot and plan of the enemy. There's a scripture that says the plans of the enemy, they come to naught in our lives. So that's what Milan and I, we, we take this place of authority in Christ Jesus, in his word, but you got to say it yeah. again. Jesus said it is written. Yeah. And so Mylon and I make a effort. We are mindful of this. We are purposeful. Yes. To now say. Listen, people, Jesus mm -hmm. told you, he gave you the keys to the kingdom. Yes. He will not bind the devil for you. That's good, Mylon. You can pray, oh God, get the devil off my back, but he will sit on the throne and wait on you to do what he told you to do. Mm -hmm. The key will open the door, but you got to put it in there and turn it. <laughs> and you got to pull the door open. Yeah. It won't just open, oh sesame. Yeah. You got to do what God told you to do. Bind the enemy. Yeah. Whatever you bind on earth. 
Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in the heavenlies or in the spirit realm. That's right. And heaven will back your words. Yes, he so will. So we're going to give you it. a one, two, three right now. You can take notes on this. Bring so this it, is how you fight the good fight. Come on. You find the promise in God's word that applies to your situation. Yes. And you begin to declare it is, it written, is written and this is your sword. I don't know. I can't say that without putting, you know, my sword in my I hand. I had a right? sword in there. But I got it brought out. Right. Come on. We needed to have that. And then number two, you refuse to fear by firmly holding up your shield of faith. That's right. You make sure that everything is right between you and God. This is real important mm, for you boy. to humble yourself before the oh, Lord. Oh, don't rush over this part. We get people every day wanting us to pray that God will fix everything. But when we tell them, have you done this? Have you forgiven everybody? Have you forgiven? When yeah. they get mad, yeah. they actually get mad and write you, why are you judging me? And we're not even know, we don't know what's going on in their life. We don't know. We're just saying, here's what the word says to do. Yeah. Humble myself, judge myself, right. and God won't have to judge me. But at, God requires me to grow up. Yes. and be a better person so that everybody around me has a better chance of enjoying His presence and His love through me this next year. And you Go know ahead, that humbling darling. yourself, that is part of what we discussed earlier sure. about submitting to God. Yes. That's obedience to the Word. That's now, right. when you resist the devil, you'll have power. That's he right, will flee. And then bind every attack of the evil one and command Come him on. to flee. Yes. Now, just stand. Having done all to stand, stand in faith and enter His rest. Yes. It is going to be a Relax. good year. He's going to take care of business for you. That's right. You do what she just told you, Amen. which is what the Word of God says. Mm. And I'm telling you, one day at a time, it will get better. God will prove that He's in love with you and yes. that He's a good God. And He will fix things in the land of the living. That's you will so get good. to see His blessing. Thank you so much for joining us today. We love you, man. We're going to be praying for you. I promise you, we keep our faith active, active. in Team Milan's lives. Yes. And those, anybody who asks us, anybody who communicates with us, come and connect with us at Milan.org. We love you, man. We will be believing God with you that it's yes. going to get better at your house. That's right. In the meantime, until we see you next week, you stay in the Word because that will keep you on, on the, the road, road to freedom. freedom.